them out there. They're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? What the fuck, man? How are you gonna interrupt us in from Dutch's Where conversation with Miss O'Shea, bro? Oh, shut up. Gladly. Thank you. Yes. Long time ago. We all know. Okay, I'm ready to fucking change this outfit, dude. I'm getting tired of it. Time to bring Arthur's old hat back. Dude, I gotta go to the store. I gotta get some fucking new clothes or something, bro. Is that Kieran, bro? Let's go fishing with Kieran. I've never oh, actually gone fishing. You going fishing? Yes. We're running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. <laughs> All right, then. Grab your horse, and let's go. Oh, time, girl. God damn, this is hard to fucking... Okay, Let my hand me. rest here, I know a great little fish especially where I burned myself. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're all fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? <laughs> yeah, Arthur, that's because fucked I saved up. your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but. I save your life every day I don't kill you. That's so up. we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. the place some beautiful smallmouth here bass sure this strip of shore looks perfect pick a spot seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Oh, you're right up on me there, huh? What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. What? This Why guy's naked, bro! My lord. <laughs> well, somebody needs to go to confession. Hey! Watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow! Sorry, fellas! Didn't see you there! Why don't you take a break? Come on in! The water's wonderful! I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish! Oh! Just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Well, come on, let's go. Oh, I'm talking about big fish here, boys. Woo! 
Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Okay, girl. What's that naked fella was talking about? Bro, what? What is that right there? Is that a fish, dude? No way, that's a fish. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Rusty, let, let's walk down to the beach. Hope we land this monster. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? You won't catch much if you don't cast the line. I just did, bro. Chill. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. Putting up one hell of a fight. Oh shit. It's a bad. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no shit, Sherlock. Damn, five pounder, we're keeping that. Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. Oh my god, I'm Arthur. Still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. No, I did it too soon, bro. I'm so bad at this game, bro. I can't even fish for shit. I bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. Nah, bro. I think that's the... Is that another bass? Yeah. No, that's not it. Dude, these are all five pounders, bro. You could only catch those in real life constantly. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on. I'll see you later. You okay? Thanks again for coming fishing with me. We should do that again sometime. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I won't disturb you. All right then. Okay. Well, I guess we're done with fishing, man. I was kind of hoping we could catch something, something big right there, but I guess not. Just I try no.
I supposed to see him in that bush, bro? Oh my god. Bro, I'm about to blast every single one of you mofos in a couple seconds. It was a mistake. It. Shit, dude, they're getting so close. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. Shut up. Ah, oh, welcome back, sir. Run up the tab now, have we? Whoa, whoa. Why do I owe $60 in New Hanover? For what? Okay. I'll let the folks in New Hanover know the good news. I'm talking about that boy you got killed. Farewell. Seems to have them all shook up. Man, yo, get the hell oh, out boy. of my face, bro. Okay, my girl. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us. As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Who died? Who died, bro? Oh, father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Tell us straight, father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Oh, I don't see anybody here, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> Undone by pride, doomed to a lack of sin and life. Why is everything so blurred? Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come through. Woo, dude, I have so. Don't even. Let me tell you how much stuff I have to sell. Three hundred dollars for a gold ingot. Okay. Welcome. Dang, we made like six hundred dollars right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, bro. Hey, let's see if we can finally go do this Hosea mission. Maybe not run someone over this time, please. Dude, these guys are still pissed at me. For what, man? Bro, I paid my bounty off, bro. You guys are so annoying. Okay, never mind. I guess we're not doing Jose's mission yet. I guess we're gonna go do some other mission. It was an honest mistake, people. Honest mistake. If I wanted to shoot that guy and kill him, I would have killed him just without running him over. Easy. Who the hell just said my name? Yeah. 
Seriously, who just said my name, bro? What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. <laughs> Very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. <clears throat> the guy money, that punched his living of crap out of you. About. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. What is wrong so with Bill, Bill's ear, bro? <laughs> oh, it is. We put a lot of research. Why is everyone's ears also. like that? <laughs> All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm. Okay, let's move out. I always gotta be brought as insurance policy. Whoa! Keep it down now. We're here. Whoa! Whoa! I just realized we never got our money when we uh, stole those sheep. Unless John came and got the money and just never split it with me. Jackass. I don't even have my guns on me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I left all my guns on the horse. Wait, can I not have it? Oh, that. Okay, this is stupid. Whatever. Karen, go to work. Of course. Of course. I am the only one that has to rock with the pistol. All right, of keep it course. cool and follow me, fellas. Decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> 
you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. I, I was child, and it's, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn uh, no. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. No word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. We're good. Oh, oh you think we're here? No, no. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Open oh. the goddamn vault. Oh. Oh. Open it. Oh. 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 How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Okay. Okay. You got damn slow! Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. Damn! I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. Open the lockboxes now! I... Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <laughs> Now, you shut the hell up and be still! Can I just shoot the dynamite? I'll go check the front. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Yo, any day now, Fuse. How are you getting on? Damn. Oh, as fast as I can. Mofos be rich as hell, we bro. We need to get out of here. Shut up. No, we don't. I'm the best shot in the west bro that's another one cleared this is looking good how much longer nearly there okay you reckon that's enough now no Maybe. bro yeah, it's never enough well i am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are gentlemen hurry we seem to have some company sorry partner <clears throat> i said come out now uh, what do we do I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. Oh, is that so? Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. <clears throat> don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. You missed, bro. Bro, let me shoot.
Oh, I can't aim apparently. Oh shit! Pretty sure I shot that guy's hat off, just like the state. I need the Lancaster repeater. Bro. Get the hell out of here. Bro. Just because you guys can't shoot, or just because you guys can't keep up, doesn't mean that's my fucking fault, man. Gentlemen, that was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. No, bro. If you guys don't remember who Mrs. Downs is, it's the guy we beat up. What when he was and he like coughed on her face or whatever. That's the guy, or that's like the wife. We have to go talk to the wife of that guy because I guess he died. Yeah. 
think that's just right up here, to be honest, if I remember correctly. Yep, it's right up here. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Damn. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. That's fucked maybe up. Maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. That's so fucked, man. Holy shit, we got 30,000 out of that? God damn. Man, I owe... I still need to go do this mission way out here, seriously. We'll do that some other time. We'll do... Let's see if we can do... Hosea's mission. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ, bro. I'm just trying to do the damn mission. to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Just what the hell are we doing? 
Can I drive? No. Nope. <sighs> I kind of want him to drive, though. I don't want to drive. <laughs> What are we doing? Let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I shoved that silver spoon down his throat and pulled it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. Mm. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the hell, bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea in the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flatter. <laughs> One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, what about for sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he though? The master Shit. of an Shit. Shit. Of Shit. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So... We're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with some lies. All right, then. Yep. English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. Here, yeah, you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Here. Stay Definitely can't see the gun fucking peeking up from the top. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, Hey, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. Imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite. <laughs> <laughs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. Then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barb running down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. There's someone coming on the left. Oh shit, I kept accidentally pressing the wrong button. Huh. Oh hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed in the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Hero. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. I was close, I was close. <laughs>
God damn it, bro. Ooh, perfect. This a quick dousing as well. I bet this shit freaks, bro. Oh, my game just froze. No, 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 no. What the hell was that, man? My game literally just froze right there for a second. You asked for it. My game's freezing, bro. Why? There it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that cash yet. Oh, say you better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. All right, come on. Take those horses. Sean, come on, bro. Holy shit. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right. Follow me.
turn into a relief party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. What a mess. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Hey, Javier. Hello, Arthur. Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? Real strange. And the <laughs> they don't like Cubans. <laughs> don't like Cubans. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well... However it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. <laughs> well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. No, I don't like the sound of this, bro. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. Please say no. Please say no. As Please you say, no. it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> oh no, bro. I don't like it. 
<laughs> but why, dude? I'm gonna get shanked here. I can feel it, dude. My, I feel like Michael's gonna betray us here. Hands down. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Did real good in Valentine. <laughs> you know, I've been fighting Combe for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Shut up, Micah. No one cares what you think. Literally, no one cares. <laughs> Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. <sighs> Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. Shut That's the fuck problem. up. You don't Caring care for much. shit, man. There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The Dude, Dutch literally sounds like he's taking nation. Micah's side yeah. on this. Created equal. Liberty and justice for all that might be nonsense too but it's worth trying for it is worth believing in can't you see that friend i don't know try all i ask is you try all right pal poke you're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. Oh my god, I really don't, I have a bad fucking feeling about this one, I can already fucking feel it. Was that a dog? Oh great dude, I just don't like this man.
There's only three. There was four, wasn't there? Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. Oh, what are we no. doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? I knew it. I knew there was fucking four of them, bro. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not <laughs> <you ain't>. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Uh, handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. Who the fuck is Seamus? Right, we can draw them all back. True. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Did I kill you? No, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Did he just get... Bruh. Weapons over there. Preach true. Yeah. Let me go, Cole, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, hand you in, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. 
Fucking hell, dude. Dude, how long has it been, bro? That's gonna burn. Are you already on? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm supposed to click it. I thought I was supposed to hold it. torturing a man it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland he better hurry it up i don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef Okay, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me a second, give me a second, give me, give me a second, give me a second. Bro, can I get my fucking revolver? Okay. Okay, I was gonna kill every single one of those motherfuckers. I want a rematch. That's some bullshit. That first knife should have hit that guy. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. Better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> I literally can't see anything.
Okay, come on, bro. Like, seriously. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, dude. This game. Don't die on us, Arthur. tell dude oh yeah we made it Arthur 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 I told you it was just up to us my boy my dear boy fuck what? you Dutch got but I got away yeah yeah you did Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. You can't even. Swanson. You can't even be mad, Dutch. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Dutch. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. His beard is huge oh. again, bro. About the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Okay, you guys, we're probably gonna end off the episode here. To be honest, I thought Arthur might have just fucking died right there, but you know, I guess he didn't. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys do leave a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys do subscribe. Definitely morning, be Arthur. appreciated. You were coming for me, right, Dutch? Of course, son. Good to see you back up in Adam again. Few more battle scars. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.